Welcome to the Morning Update. I'm Taylor Jones. Aussie motorists are being warned record petrol prices may persist for weeks. The price hike is being driven by global oil supply issues as well as military tensions in Ukraine. The annual cost has jumped by more than 32%. Homicide squad detectives are investigating the deaths of two men east of Melbourne. Police found the body of the first victim at a property in Warburton after reports of shots being fired last night and found the body of a second man in a nearby toilet block just a short time later. Both bodies are still yet to be formally identified. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson is refusing to resign over those parties held in Downing Street during lockdown. Police have now launched an investigation. Of course, I I don't deny it uh, uh, for all sorts of reasons. Many people may want me out of the way, but this government can be trusted to deliver. An official report into the so-called party gate is about to be released with as many as 18 functions being scrutinised. A medical trial out of the UK is calling for volunteers to deliberately catch COVID. The trial is looking at how much of the virus is needed to trigger an infection, as well as the immune response. And Mattel's won back the rights to produce toys based on Disney's princesses and frozen characters. Hasbro took over the licensing deal from Mattel back in 2016. To sport now, and Daniil Medvedev is through to the Oz Open semi-finals after last night's marathon five-setter. While well, Ash Barty will be playing for a spot in the finals tonight. Also in action today, the special K's in the men's double semis and Dylan Olcott in the quad singles final. The Sydney Sixers are through to the Big Bash final after last night's four-wicket win over the Adelaide Strikers. Hayden Kerr named player of the match with an unbeaten 98. And Matilda's captain, Sam Kerr, says she wants to inspire the next generation after being awarded the Order of Australia for services to soccer. And Australia takes on Thailand early tomorrow morning in the Women's Asian Cup. In entertainment news, off the back of last year's successful release, Mortal Kombat's getting a sequel. New Line will be behind the follow-up to the blockbuster, which is based on the video game franchise, which was filmed in Adelaide. Keanu Reeves has come under fire in China after it was announced he's taking part in an upcoming benefit concert for Tibet. Some Chinese citizens are calling for a boycott of Reeves' new film, The Matrix Resurrections. And Home Alone star Macaulay Culkin is reportedly engaged to fellow actor Brenda Song. While they're still yet to confirm the news personally, Song has been spotted wearing a ring on that finger. And that's the latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you this afternoon for another episode of The Update.